Righto, today I am up in 2J, Perth, West Australia. Nice little suburb, about an hour out of, hour and a half out of Perth. Um, I'm up here quite a lot. Do a lot of off-grid systems up here. I've done quite a few over the last three or four years, I suppose. And um, this one is going to be another Tesla off-grid system using the Tesla Powerwall. It's a new build. Um, there's a house there that's getting built. Uh, there's a older couple going to live there. I think they're retired. They don't have huge power consumption, so the system I'm building is going to be plenty. This is the shed. Nice big shed. Um, I've already done all the railing up on the roof. I ran the cables, so the cables there. So the off-grid system's going to go there, and batteries next to them there. I've already built the off-grid system with the inverter and the Tesla gateway. That's all back at my workshop. That's um, that's connected and online at the moment, and Tesla support will be following up on an email I've sent them to set up the gateway for off-grid because when you're doing off-grid with Tesla um, Tesla support need to go into the uh, Tesla gateway and set up the parameters uh, it's not something that we can do as a accredited installer for Tesla that's something that they do themselves and then we do the final setup and commissioning um, once it's all on site, ready to go. So, um, yeah, I've just finished off doing the roof work, getting ready for panels to go on on Monday. And um, I'll be bringing 20, well, a whole pallet, but I'll only be using 22 uh, LG Neon H panels. Um, and they'll be going up here. I'll go up on the roof here and show you. I'm not quite sure why these people are going off grid. Um, obviously it's a new build. There is no power connection to the property. However, saying that there is power right there. You can see the transformer on the end of the shed there on the neighboring property. So power is very close. Um, so, not quite sure, I didn't realise the neighbours were so close and the power was so close, so I haven't actually asked the question, but I'm guessing it would be because they want um, independence from the grid, but possibly they also want to be able to have a large solar system, which on the Western Power Network where we are, it can be quite restrictive as to what size system we can have. Yeah, it's all determined by the size of that transformer. So, bit windy um, so I've done the rails I've got two strings of uh, 11 and they'll be going up here bit of room for expansion if they need to beautiful view that's the town site down there 2J town site you got the Avon River that runs next to the town as well goes behind those hills over there. Um, so yeah, panels up here, off-grid system in the shed down there, and they'll also have a Kubota generator, a 6 kVA low boy, and that will be there to support the off-grid system. Um, support in the way of if there's low light and they need more power, and the generator will automatically start up and support the off-grid system but um, it's also there just in case the off-grid system fails and they need to switch over to the generator until I can get here or tech support can sort out what the issue is haven't had that happen yet but um, the way I do mine is my off-grid system is, is I have a changeover switch so that if the system does fail they can just switch over to the generator and just run off the generator until the off-grid system can be sorted out so generator is going to go here um, they'll have to 
put some noise proofing around it because neighbors are literally right there and um, probably the one downside to the Tesla systems is you can't lock out the generator so with other systems like Victron, Selectronic, SMA you can have times set in the configuration where the generator isn't allowed to start so if you don't want it starting at you know sometime early in the morning or whatever because you're asleep then it will lock out the generator so it doesn't start it up but you can't do that with the Tesla system so the generator may start up at any given time if required but um, that said I don't think the generator will ever run because uh, I've sized this system really well and there's just two people living in the house with um, minimal consumption I can't remember the exact figures and um, I'm sure they'll be fine just with the off-grid system uh, it's probably the third or fourth Tesla system I've done up here in 2J now um, and done a few others as well varying in size and just depends on the nature of the install as to what type of system I use whether it be Victron uh, or Tesla or SMA there's a few things that I use to determine what I'll use where the installation will be like where the actual standalone system will be because uh, some of the systems such as this one look quite commercial and you wouldn't want it on the side of the house um, where sometimes there's there's no shading or there's no good environment for the system to to be put in such as in a shed or garage or carport so in that instance I may use a pre-built system from Red Earth or I may build my own system in a cabinet um, yeah just lots of things that determine that sort of um, which way I'll go with what size system and and uh, what type of system anyway that's it for now home time go and pick up the panels from LG and I'll be back Monday and get the panels up there and I'll show you another video once it's all done righto see ya righto back on this site now in 2J just finishing up um, done all my testing um, commissioned it labeling and um, I'm just about to leave so I thought I'd share a video with you of uh, the final product um, that's the two Tesla batteries 13.5 kilowatts each so 27 kilowatt hours in total um, these bollards because they're <coughs> in an area where they could be bumped such as a garage workshop or even if they're in a the garage then we have to put those bollards in that's um, a regulation that's important just to protect the batteries and uh, give you a gentle reminder that you're reversing into something if you don't happen to see them um, and that's the finished product with the cabinet so I mentioned to you before that I do a changeover switch in case the system fails this is the changeover switch here so straight up is the Tesla off-grid system and the middle position is actually off and then straight down is the generator so let's say for example the system failed uh, for whatever reason it is electronics at the end of the day but like I said I haven't had it happen yet um, but the beauty with these is we can actually remotely access them with tech support and they can sort out most issues unless it's a, an actual hardware changeover or something like that. Um, so you just flick it down to generator and then just manually go and start your generator uh, with the key and um, until I can get up here or the system can be sorted out. But never happened yet. A lot of guys don't do that and if your system fails then you're got the inconvenience of having to run leads out and so forth to your generator um, which is fine but it's just not as convenient as flicking a switch and then having regular power to the whole house uh, so this is the sma inverter that's a six kilowatt inverter uh, that'll be providing the power from the solar panels on the roof down to the to the batteries and this is the tesla gateway so this is the brains of the system this is what controls it all and um, tells it all what to do all right the generator is not in place as yet unfortunately so um, i am going to have to come back on this one 
and um, finish off setting up the generator and connecting it up. Uh, one thing I did say in my other video is that some off-grid systems are a bit commercial looking, such as this one. Um, that wasn't necessarily true. Uh, this is the exact system I would use if I were going to put it in a garage or carport or on the side of a house. And I think I've got another video with one of them on the side of a house and it's actually very neat. Um, what I meant by saying commercial as in this one is in having it in a, a timber cabinet that I've pre-made. Um, when I put them on the side of a house, I do it different. This would just all just simply be onto the brick wall and I'd use the cavity to run my cables behind or I'd use um, a length of white ducting and it actually looks really good. It looks very neat. Um, what I wouldn't use on a house is um, systems such as um, similar design to this but using different products I just I wouldn't do that it just looks ugly so it can go on your house in the garage or in your carport and just look like a regular solar inverter with batteries on the wall with minimal um, external conduits and that sort of thing and it looks very neat um, that's about it all done um, please reach out to me if you've got any questions and um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.